we're ready to put back on the ignition coil, which is here. This has points inside of this. We're going to take this apart at least enough to, you know, disconnect the point system on it because we're going to use an electronic chip. This is from Oregon, and I've used this on other saws like this one, and uh, it works fantastic. It's even got a little um, advanced mechanism where it can advance the spark at higher RPM. So they work really, really well. So we're going to put that in here somehow, somewhere, and then we're going to put that back on, and then we'll put our, our uh, magneto flywheel on. Took the condenser and points and everything out of here and just separated those to get them out of the way. Uh, doesn't look like there's going to be any way I can actually mount this that I can see just yet. Um, can't fit it in here. It's just too big and bulky. Uh, so I have to figure out if I can actually mount it on this thing or if I have to mount it uh, somewhere else. Found a place to put the chip. Let's see if you can see it. It's right up in here. If you look, there you go. And the leg that's closest to the bottom there is loop grounded back to its own mounting screw, which comes out right here. That's all brushed up so it makes good contact. And that's because we are doing a negative ground according to this diagram. It's the top one right here. So you can see the way that this is working. Let me show you. So here, this is the leg that's coming off the bottom. This basically ties into your kill switch and then the positive side of your coil, which is actually just the primary coil which is here so if you see this this is the primary side of the coil the other side is already grounded and so what we're going to do is this little i'm borrowing this little piece here from the points we're not we don't have the points in here but this is a plastic piece that keeps these wires separated from grounding so there it's just a junction spot is all this is we could take it off and twist them together with a a dorky looking ceiling fan tie, but we're not going to do that. We're going to use the original mounting points here. So there's going to be one here. That's for the coil. And then these two wires here, this one's coming from our chip and that one's going to our kill switch, which is right here. The way this works is um, when you're, engine is running and your magneto is spinning and it's charging up this coil with a magnetic field, normally the points actually ground out and short circuit the coil to earth ground. And that's what causes an induction of the energy into the secondary coil, which is your, your high energy part of your coil. And that's where you get the spark. That's how it works. So it's actually grounding out that primary coil is how it works and that is, is exactly what the chip does in there it just does it electronically instead of points and then your kill switch when you turn that off it basically connects it to ground so it's opposite of what you think you know usually an off switch disconnects something but in this case the off switch is grounding the uh the primary coil so anyway we're going to take these three pieces connect them together mount it all back in here we just want to make sure that these wires are not in the way where they're going to catch on the flywheel because that wouldn't be very good. Everything's all mounted up and out of the way. Uh, one thing to really note is you want to make sure nothing here is connecting to ground. And so the way I'm <clears throat> testing that is I've got my own meter here and with this ohm meter, if I direct short that out, I get about 0 0.4, 0 0.3 uh, ohms here. And if I test it through the chassis, same thing, 0 0.4. And if I have my kill switch not grounded, not off that is, and I touch a ground and I'm also touching the primary coil wire connection here, our little junction spot, I can see it's 1.1. 1 
so it's definitely not grounded. And if I turn it off, it basically shorts it out and now it's 0.4 and 0.3. So that just tells me that none of these connections are, are touching ground. Nothing's grounded. It's all hooked up like it's supposed to be. So put this on just like we found it there. Just to test this before we go too much further, um, what I've done is I've taken the spark plug out and I have clamped it with an ordinary wood clamp. I'm just grounding the spark plug, you know, to the rest of the engine so I can see the electrodes here. We're looking for a spark right here. And you normally can't, you know, turn it, hand turn it like that quick enough to generate a spark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the existing coil here. You guys are going to love this. And make sure I get it on the right way. Yep, that's the right way. And I'm going to just wrap it around a couple of times here. We're just going to give it a pull and uh, spin that magneto and see if we get a spark here. So you ready? Keep an eye on this spot right here. Let me zoom in on that if I can. All right, here we go. Keeping an eye on this right here, looking for blue spark. I see spark. <laughs> 